Hello everyone, welcome to Web Plus Academy for Civil Services. This is the video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. Most important news and editorial of the day will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with news topic list. Today is 22nd of April. The first news is Niti Aayog releases a draft battery swapping policy. We'll see the important and significance of this policy and the commitment which was made by India in the global summit of the COP26, how this is going to help this. Second, panel call for expert body on a man-animal conflict. Third, UK Prime Minister on a visit to India. Fourth news is US announces a new round of military aid to Ukraine. US has been vocal about the support to the Ukraine amid the crisis which is ongoing between Ukraine and Russia. And the last is an editorial. This is India's moment of recognition. So we'll see and understand the detail of this editorial as well. Apart from this, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based question. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before that, those of you who are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe at Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press a like button. And just to tell you about our new version of the app 2.0 which will give you a lot more facilities even if you study via app also right so do check it out my video description my link there will directly be download kar the first news of the day that is niti ayog draft battery sweeping policy this is important for general studies paper 2 that is government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from it design and implementations so recently, the Niti Aayog has released a draft battery sweeping policy. We'll see the detail about the sweeping. What does it mean in this particular context? And this policy is targeted at electric, the electric vehicle, which is basically two wheeler or three wheelers, right? So this would be basically for these two entity only and not for the buses as of now. Niti Aayog aims to expedite the large adoptions of electronic vehicles in India. So this is something which would be providing a roadmap, a directions, and even a, a length and breadth to the electronic vehicles policy in our country. Now, kya hoti hai battery sweeping? Ya pehle zana zaruri hai. See, you can see this image, and you can even make out what does this battery sweeping mean. It is just like the discharged battery is again charged, and the charged battery is been put up in this scooty, which is an electronic scooter, right? So battery sweeping ke baat kare, it's a mechanism that involves exchange of discharge battery from the charged one. So you can see uh, this is how the uh, charged and discharged battery is being replaced in the electric scooter. This provides flexibility to charge the discharge battery and even de-link the charging and the other uses also. The electronic vehicles will operate in the mode with negligible load time. Even when you change, it takes hardly a minute or two to exchange the battery or swap a battery. Battery swapping is generally used in the smaller vehicle. As I have stated before only, it is only for the two wheelers and three wheelers vehicle. Even you can count the e-rickshaws which is there, but it's not for any other part. But still in India, we e-rickshaws may be implementing here. The government is coming with the policy where only two wheelers and three wheelers would be allowed for a battery swapping policies. Now, aim kya has policy ki, why government is coming with such policy? So, there are some major aim. First is to give incentives for the electronic vehicles in a swappable batteries. Second, subsidies to the firm for manufacturing the swappable batteries. This would be again important because India has a charging facilities infrastructure deficit. So, this swapping batteries policy would definitely call for a lot more enrollment and engagement of the citizen. Third, technical and testing requirements. And the last but not the least is reducing the GST among all other things. So these are some of the major aim and features of this policy. Now some recommendations that was again suggested. So this draft policy recommend uh, prioritizing all metropolitan cities with a population greater than 4 million people to develop uh, battery sweeping networks. Chai wo Delhi ho, Mumbai, Chennai, Calcutta ya koi bhi aise sehar jahan pe 4 million se zyada population hai. Battery sweeping networks and this would be done in a phased manner, right? Followed by all major cities that would be collected subsequently. 
और जितने भी स्टेट कैपिटल्स होंगे यूनियन टेरिटरीज होंगे जिनकी पॉपुलेशन फाइव लैख से ऊपर है उनमें भी विद इन टू टू थ्री ईयर गवर्नमेंट वुड बी कमिंग अप विद द फैसिलिटीज ऑफ बैटरी स्विपिंग नेटवर्क और स्टेशन अगेन दिस इज गोइंग टू चेंज द स्ट्रक्चर एंड द ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर्स फॉर द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्कूटर्स और इवन फॉर द डिफॉल्ट स्कूटर दैट इज बींग ऑपरेटेड इन इंडिया ना डिमांड साइड इंसेंटिव को अगर देखें नीति आयोग ने जो प्रपोजल दी उसमें कहा गया है दैट दे हैव प्रपोज दैट डिमांड साइड इंसेंटिव ऑफर्ड एग्जिस्टिंग टू द न्यू स्कीम एंड दिस वुड प्रोवाइड फॉर द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक व्हीकल परचेज दैट वुड बी मेड अवेलेबल टू ई वी बाय हैविंग अ स्वेपेबल बैटरीज एलिजिबल अंडर दिस पॉलिसी सो इफ इट इज बींग आस्ट इन मेक एग्जामिनेशन इसके क्या क्या बेनिफिट्स हैं तो आप इसके इन्वायरमेंटल बेनिफिट्स जो हैं वो जरूर बताएंगे दैट हाउ दिस इज going to help india in a longer run and even if we talk about india's global commitment which we have already made to niti aayog ki jo draft policy hai this will help india to achieve the target that was already being made in the cop 26 right and even jo net zero emissions ki target hai by 2070 can be achieved with this all sort of initiatives which government of india has taken and this will require a clear path to decarbonize greenhouse gases and even give incentive to the sector as transport and energy so this is something very important not compromising with the quality and quantity of the vehicles but at the same time promoting a sustainable fuel which is not detrimental to environment at all now the other news house panel call for expert body on man animal conflict this is important for general studies paper 3 that is conservation environmental pollution degradation and eia and even it is important for general studies paper 2 in the section of government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from it design and implementations so according to the latest report by the standing committee on science technology environment and climate change of uh, the ministry of environment they have said that they need to constitute a advisory body of expert to tackle the growing instances of human animal conflict i have already discussed this news प्रायर ऑल्सो जहाँ पर हमने डिस्कस की थी ग्राफ के थ्रू कि किस तरह से ह्यूमन और एनिमल के कॉन्फ्लिक्स के थ्रू कितने लोगों की डेथ हुई इंडिया में नंबर्स ज़्यादा हैं एंड इवन फॉर कंट्री लाइक इंडिया वी नीड एन एक्सपर्ट पैनल एंड एक्सपर्ट अथॉरिटी वुड बी लुकिंग इन टू द इंटायर ग्रिवांसेज ऑफ ह्यूमन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्स तो रिपोर्ट में और क्या क्या बातों को हाईलाइट की गई है रिपोर्ट हैज़ एनालाइज द Wildlife 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 Amendment Bill 2021, which was was recently tabled in the Parliament. Uh, this is actually in 2021, and the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 specifically provide for a legal framework for a protection of various species of the wildlife and plants. Right. So this is again important for your prelims examination as well. They can ask you a question directly from this. And these uh, laws has been amended several times, but ये जो latest set of proposals हैं by the Environment Ministry would make a compliant for the conservation khas karke jo sites ki hamari agreement hai that is conservation on international trade in endangered species of wildlife flora and fauna would be again which india is a signatory so jo commitments hai globally ye is tarah ki jo rules hogi usko adhere karegi and even it will call for a lot more responsible india at the global platform now some recommendations that was given by the panel there were two important recommendations that i'll discuss The first is the proposal for setting committee for the state board, जो state wildlife board है उसके लिए एक committee बनाने के बाद कही गई है So one of the clauses proposed by the ministry was to have a standing committee of the state board of wildlife to function as more purposive, right? So it should be more purposeful, it should be more result oriented, it should be more practical in nature. And even the report insisted and suggested that such body should be constituted with at least One third of the non-official member, which would be coming from the state board of wildlife, and at least three institutional member, and the director of the wildlife institute board with or his nominees. So the recommendations of the expert panel will taken into consideration, and the domain expert should be the part of the standing committee. Now, an advisory committee बनाने की बात की गई है recommendations में. So the report has recommended an advisory committee to be headed by the chief wildlife warden. who can consult the committee appropriately when required whatever policies being formulated these would be the coordinating body among them right and such committee with five member in depth technical knowledge as a jo committees honge usme jo members honge unke paas in depth knowledge honi chahiye with regards to the site specific plan jo mitigation strategies hain unke liye and even 
जिस तरह से चेंजिंग पैटर्न हो रही है इन्वायरमेंट में हाउ दैट इज इफेक्टिंग द ह्यूमन हाउ दैट इज इन्फेक्टिंग द एनिमल्स जो उनके पैटर्न हैं मूवमेंट पैटर्न हैं ये सारी चीज़ों के बारे में एक नेसेसरी बिफोर हैंड एक्सपीरियंस एंड इनडेप्थ एनालिसिस एंड टेक्निकल नॉलेज एसेंशियली रिक्वायर्ड द मेम्बर हु इज गोइंग टू बी द पार्ट ऑफ एडवाइजरी कमेटी राइट सो दीज थिंग्स नीड टू बी टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन बिफोर अपॉइंटिंग दैम एंड लॉ Uh, no, this would be essentially under the law, which is necessary in terms of regulating the human and animal conflict in India. Now, the other news: UK Prime Minister on a visit to India. This is relevant for Journal Studies Paper Two. It is bilateral regional grouping and agreement evolving India as and affecting India's interest. So, UK Prime Minister Mr. Boris Johnson is on a recent visit to India. He first visited Gujarat. and he is on two day visit there will be a lot more bilateral agreement mous that would be signed i'll be discussing that also but for time being we are just uh, scratching up on the initial news that is there so the british prime minister is expected to announce major investment in trade and industries that would be taking place and various indian leading companies such as adani and other solar related companies and manufacturing related companies are coming up with the collaboration with united kingdom this would be an mou that would be signed by the government of india and not actually between government of india between private entities and uk government so there would be also having a field of climate and sustainability renewable energy khas kar ke green or clean energy ki taraf kaise badha ja sakta hai isme bhi agreements honi hai and the other sectors include the cooperative defense and aerospace technologies there some focus area that government of india is looking forward with with the united kingdom so the british prime minister visit is expected to put a fresh proposal on the fta this is very important because we have recently signed the ftas with australia and many other countries even even for the middle east so britain ke liye bhi britain ke sath bhi jo free trade agreement hai that would be again important this would boost cooperation in the indo pacific and enhance the defense ties ना यूक्रेन क्राइसिस की अगर बात करें द यूक्रेन प्राइम मिनिस्टर बेसिकली जो यूके के प्राइम मिनिस्टर है ही सेड दैट यूके इज वोकल अबाउट इट्स सपोर्ट टू यूक्रेन एंड इट हैज रेड इट्स इशू एट सेवरल मल्टीलेटरल फोरम एज वेल राइट सो इट हैज सेड दैट इंडिया शुड बी यूजिंग दिस टाइम एज अ डिप्लोमैटिक लेवल एंड इट शुड कॉल फॉर अ प्रो एक्टिव रोल फ्रॉम इंडिया ऑल दो इंडिया हैज एबस्टेंट फ्रॉम वोटिंग एंड नीदर दे हैव सपोर्टेड Uh, basically direct support to russia but india is vocal about its part that we are dependent on russia and somehow we are would be abstaining and making no comment on the part of the action taken by the russia right and the prime minister of uk has categorically highlighted that india and russia shared a very different relationship historically so it is not only at this point of time agar aap historically dekhiye russia is a partner which has always supported india in many wars तो ये एक ऐसी डिसीजन होगी इंडिया के लिए जो एक कैच ट्वेंटी टू सिचुएशन के साथ और हमारे बायोलेटर रिलेशनशिप को भी मेंटेन करना जरूरी होगा राइट नाउ द अदर न्यूज यूएस अनाउंस न्यू राउंड ऑफ मिलिट्री एड टू यूक्रेन दिस इज रिगार्डिंग द डेटोरेटिंग परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द यूक्रेन एंड इवन द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बॉटन लेक द डिस्ट्रॉयड दैट वी हैव सीन इन द यूक्रेन सो दिस वुड बी अ रिलीफ पैकेज दैट यू इज प्रोवाइडिंग टू द यूक्रेन important for general studies paper to effect and policies for developed and developing countries so recently the uk us president has announced 800 million military package for ukraine which is facing a war aggression from russia and the ukrainian military is facing a fresh on clash loss which is ongoing in the eastern flank region of the ukraine right the us has announced 500 million of direct economic assistance the ukrainian government has battled for many people even the humanitarian crisis that has arisen because of the military action that has taken place because of the russia invasion to the ukraine right a financial aid ki agar baat kare ukraine mein the united states and its allies as moving fast forward providing ukraine equipped with other equipments jo president hain us ko unhone kaha that he will be assisting uh, ukraine and providing all vegetable support that is required right to और इन्होंने कहा है कि जो अगर वहाँ की पार्लियामेंट के पास और प्रपोजल्स जो आई हुई हैं उनको भी अब अप्रूव किया जाएगा फॉर फिनेंशियल सपोर्ट राइट एंड द न्यू आर्म पैकेज इज सेम एज 800 मिलियन दैट वाज अनाउंस लास्ट वीक आल्सो एंड द यूएस हैज अनाउंस्ड इन टोटल ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट आई विल टेल यू अ वैल्यू बट अभी जो ये अनाउंसमेंट की गई है ये ये एक और ऐसी इम्पैक्ट होगी जो रशिया की एफिलेटेड शिप्स 
और डॉकिंग को यूएस पॉट में भी बैंड करेगी ना टोटल वैल्यू की मैंने बात की थी जो टोटल वैल्यू है यूएस के मिलिट्री सपोर्ट की तरफ से यूक्रेन को जो दी गई है दिस वैल्यूज अराउंड थ्री बिलियन डॉलर से ऊपर गई है जितनी भी अभी यू ने सपोर्ट किया है एंड दे आर इवन सपोर्टिंग इनडायरेक्टली इन टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग एंगेजमेंट एंड फाइनेंसिंग बिकॉज रशिया के जिस तरह से इन्वेजन हुई है यूक्रेन में वहाँ यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स डायरेक्टली नहीं जा सकती दे हैव ऑलरेडी सेट दैट वी कैन नॉट इंटरव्यून डायरेक्टली फिजिकली वी विल गिव यू अ सपोर्ट वी विल गिव यू एन असिस्टेंस द यू एस हैज़ अनाउंसड दैट द आर्टरी सिस्टम आर्टरी राउंड्स आर्मड पर्सनल कैरियर्स जो डिफेंस के बोट्स हैं एंड विन मटेरियल वुड बी सेंट टू कीव for that heavy equipment and deployment of military presence can be there from the ukraine side so this is what the us is supporting to the uh, ukraine country now moving to the other you know, that is editorial of the day this is the editorial which is the title that this is india's moment for reckoning a brilliant editorial written by dr manmohan singh he is a respected former prime minister of india so this is important for jana studies paper too that is effect of policies and politics for developed and developing countries in india and india's diaspora so i'll be simplifying this editorial by giving you five important subheads that is conflict and reshaping the concept of global village interconnected world and india a trade opportunity and india's way forward right and this editorial focuses upon Russia Ukraine conflict and the global order that has distorted because of the action that Russia has taken right so baat kare jo rishte mein jis tarah ki development hui hai jo conflict arise hue hain usse kafi zyada cheeze undermine hoti hai chahe wo bilateral agreements ho bilateral relationship ho chahe global diplomacy hai chahe wo global order ho sari cheezon ko impact hui hai this is what uh, manmohan singh has to say in this editorial and he said that india is a nation of mahatma gandhi and india must be committed to relentless upstall the peace and non violence at the time where world is facing such situation india should be proactively doing the things which is in line of humanity and understanding the problem for the people of the country now conflict and reshaping ki baat ki gayi hai the russia ukraine conflict call for reshaping the world's order and even jis tarah se berlin war hui thi 1989 mein वो एक पैराडाइम शिफ्ट थी सोसाइटीज़ के लिए फ्रिक्शनलेस बॉर्डर्स के लिए जिसने एक ओपन इकोनॉमी को इवॉल्व किया था गवर्निंग मेनी कंट्रीज नाउ कैटेलाइजर फैक्टर की बात करें दिस हैज़ हेल्प टू गेट पीपल गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज कैपिटल अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड एंड इवन द ग्लोबल ट्रेड एज पर द जी डी पी हैज़ नियरली डबल्ड इन दिस पीरियड विच इज़ अगेन मेकिंग अ शिफ्ट एंड प्रोवाइडिंग अ जनरल पीस एंड पॉस्पेरिटी फॉर द इंटायर कंट्री एंड इवन इंडिया was a part which was actually benefited from this now the concept of global village ki baat ki gayi hai ye global village kis context mein batayi ja rahi hai this is to give you an idea that how the academic term but live reality with the nearly 8 billion people in our planet so we should consider not only world this is can be a global village that would be encountering the entire world, right so the global village would be built on the foundation of advanced transportation network जहाँ पे यू एस डॉलर के साथ या फिर जो किसी करेंसी रिजर्व है जिस तरह से यू एस एक स्ट्रॉन्ग करेंसी है उसको ध्यान में रखते हुए एंड फेंचिंग अगेन द इंटीग्रेटेड पेमेंट सिस्टम राइट सो वी नीड टू वर्क ऑन दिस थिंग एज वेल एंड इवन एनी डिस्ट्रप्शन दैट हैज टू डायलेक्ट द बैलेंस एंड रन इन द रिस्क द ग्लोबल विलेज एंड डिस इक्विलिबेरियम एंड डिलेरिंग ऑफ द लाइफ शुड बी ऑल्सो टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन so this is the concept of global village where we need to understand one nation one world and even world uh, which is considering a humanitarian assistance and human values for all our peoples now interconnected world or india ki baat ki gayi hai india has to benefited from enormous been active participants of interconnected world india ko benefits mili hai chahe wo share of gdp mein ho ya fir aur kisi factors mein ho now the trade with the other nation has also been an integral part and cornerstone of india's economic futures now baat kare reversal towards isolism and protectionism ke this would be again food hardly and calamities for india now trade policy and opportunity ki agar baat kare uh, basically this will give you an idea that how thing has evolved for india so during the cold war what has actually happened that when india pursued the prudent policy foreign policy and non alignment trade was a small part of indian economy right so we have not contribute substantially but somewhere we are a part of it right now the trade respect has representation has 
सिग्निफिकेंटली इंक्रीज फॉर इंडिया जीडीपी और इंडिया की जो डिपेंडेंस है वो पावर ब्लॉक्स पे हुई है करंट इकोनॉमिक के जो स्ट्रक्चर्स हैं दैट कॉल फॉर फ्री ट्रेड एफ यू कैन कॉल स्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ रिजर्व करेंसी एंड ट्रांजेक्शन सिस्टम However, capitalizations की अगर बात करें these opportunities India need to access this market and even अगर global currency trade order में देखें that this has to be work in a seamless trade settlement which is actually helping a country. So if you are a country which has actually flourish with the global power of the global block, you need to come with a order which can even provide an opportunity for your opponents and many other countries as well, right? Now India के लिए way forward की अगर बात करें India not only needs a non aligned doctrine but also it needs a non destructive geo economic policy jo ki maintain karegi hamare global order ko a global equilibrium ko maintain karne mein so these terms would be again important if you are writing in mains paper make sure aap isi tarah ke words mains paper mein use karenge and even if you are a student who has ir psir as an optional to unke liye bhi ye is tarah ke term kafi important now india can be both a large producer and consumer it has a potential it has potentially increased its मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड ऑल द बेस्ट हाउस वर्ल्ड राइजिंग इन्फ्लेशन में अगर देखें जिस तरह से क्रूड ऑयल के प्राइजेस वोलाटाइल है डोमेस्टिक्स एंड प्राइवेट इन्वेस्टमेंट इज डेटोरेटिंग बिकॉज ऑफ मेनी फैक्टर्स सो वी नीड टू टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन दैट द बेस्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर इंडिया इकॉनमी इज टू क्रिएट लार्ज नंबर ऑफ जोर फॉर यूथ एंड इवे फॉर द वुमेंस दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर इंडिया टू अडॉप्ट स्ट्रैटेजी वेयर सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट डॉक्टर वुड बी अ पैराडम शिफ्ट इन द नॉन अलाइनमेंट ऑफ द फॉरन पॉलिसीज and last that india can be a fulcrum with the global order peace prosperity and economic prosperity so we can be uh, basically a role model and ideal for many other countries when it comes to global order but at the same time india need to be vocal and proactive of any crisis that is arising due to humanitarian crisis right so wahan pe jahan pe humanitarian crisis hai india ko proactively approach karne ki zarurat hai and even it should call for a global order which is which call for basically a global prosperity and healthy world so this is how the things would evolve in terms of india's way forward now moving to the mcq questions of the day before i proceed just to tell you the answer of your study question for first question the correct option is c for second question also the correct option is c today's mcq that is quadrilateral security dialogue iske bare mein aapko statement batana hai it is an informal strategic dialogue between india russia us and japan and it aims to have a support free open prosperous indo pacific region so choose which among the following is the correct option and uh, correct yourself this is a practical type of question that will help you for the examination second regarding sambar lake it is the largest inland lake in the world it represent depression in the aravalli so this is more of geography and current questions so this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the mcq questions If you have any other concern, you can let me know. I'll be more than happy to assist you. For time being, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video.